Hello and welcome back to episode 9 of Uncharted Territories 3. As always, Rock here. And so we are back at it again. Uh, this time in Intersection 3, um, off camera, we moved a ton of stuff from um, the Intersection 2 area. And we also looted a bunch of the stuff from um, from the catacombs. So we got tons of coal, XP bottles, blocks, and the tons of iron getting cooked up. That's cooked. But we can see right here, we have a pretty significant amount of iron. Um, so we're going to be pretty much rocking it out in uh, iron gear for the rest of the map. Um, assuming we don't come, like die some ridiculous amount. Um, we've also made a enchanted a new pick. Um, we're calling it Click Click Boom. Efficiency 3 and Breaking 3. Um, so that's going to be pretty good. Oh, damn it. Let me do this real quick because I'm. If I don't do it now, I'm gonna forget. Let me turn on my um, my heroic dreams real quick. So I'll be right back. All right. So now that we have our death counter back up there, um, I believe it should be at six. Um, if if it is incorrect, you'll let me know, and I will update it as soon as soon as the episode goes out, and I can. Um, but I think today we're moving into a new area. Um, now it comes down to either hypercharged, um, losing your marbles, or um, alchemical stronghold. Now I'm uh, taking a peek at all of them. I think losing your marbles is the one I'm most interested in, uh, to say the least, because of uh, it's using clay and stuff, which I haven't really gotten a chance to see. Uh, used in a CTMs yet, because this is this is really the First, um, first CTM I've seen uh, since one point or six. First, first CTM oh, yeah. using the um, one point six features since uh, since this came out. Since it's come out, so it should be interesting. Um, I'm kind of excited to see a lot of the things that people are going to do with clay um, because it is such a new, such a new block, um, and it allows for lots of a. Uh, Lots of cool things. Now, the only issue that I'm, I, I know, oh, I wish I paid attention to what that spawner was. Um, well, hope it's nothing important. Oh, you guys are trying to hit me? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't notice. Because you can't knock me back. Her, 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 parkour, parkour. Um,. So yeah, this is the first map since 1.6 has come out, um, or first map that I've seen that incorporates the 1.6 mechanics. So I'm pretty excited for that. That's a cool spawner, I think. Oh! Oh, hello. Um. Oh. Okay, this is one another one of those um, clad skillies. Oh, is that a marble? It's a boot, enchanted boot. What's uh, marble archer? Okay, you're you're cute. Wow, you've got a lot of uh, a lot of health. There we go. Let me um. Let me back up a touch just to uh, regen a little bit of this. Um, get some torching around. Um, so looks like we have some new mobs here. Um, a marble archer, which is just a oh okay that's lava I think. Just a um, a skelly with um, enchanted chain boots or enchanted iron boots, some chain gear, and a marble block for a helmet. Interesting. Interesting, if I do say so myself. Uh, now we're gonna want, yeah, that's what I thought. Looks like resistance. Resistance uh, potion effect on them. Hmm. It's the nifty looking area so far. Um, Kind of interested to see. Oh wow, this is a um a really nifty looking. Get out of here. 
really nifty looking nifty looking area. Um, it should be interesting. I think it's gonna be interesting. Um, so let's. I think the best thing to do at the first um, is to get around. Um, of course, torching up, torching up around just to make sure that um, bad stuff doesn't spawn. <laughs> Uh, because there's a lot of bad stuff that I can see that wants to kill us. Um, from what? Oh, I didn't look at something, did I? Um. From what I understand, the riot shield is a very um, archer, it's like anti-archer, archers or skelly um, kind of item. Um, keeping that in mind, it would make sense that if this um, man, this guy's having a dance party here. Um, it would make. I think he's got thorns too. Um, it would make sense if um, the gear gave um, projectile projection as well. But I don't know. That might be a bit much. I don't know. I think it, I think it's good as is, but projectile protection could be a good stat for it. Though it already is pretty damn strong by itself. So uh, I mean, its base damage is stronger than a diamond sword um, by a small margin. But still more, and I think it's <laughs> because of that. Um, it's probably gonna, we're going to be using for quite some time, at least until we find like a, a really strong iron sword or diamond sword. Um, we'll probably be kind of sticking with this guy. Yeah, yeah. Um. I'm just gonna plop that that spawner out of here. I don't know if it's we're necessarily want to farm these. I haven't seen the boots that drop off that yet, um, so I don't know. If, I don't know. If I can get you. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it yet. What is he? Power one bows. I think this guy's dropping. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not necessarily seeing any beneficial drops off these guys yet. <laughs> Torch, uh, not torches, uh, uh, arrows, I guess. But yeah, you know, it's, I wouldn't. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna go this way real quick. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Stop it. Oh shit! It's a lot of zombies. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I don't. I'm not seeing any super beneficial drops from these guys yet, so I think I'm just gonna either destroy them or torch them up when I see them. Okay, yeah, you guys fight each other while I regen. Oh, I didn't want to shoot you. Damn it. That. Oh, I'm getting too low. Let me kill this guy out. Ah, get out of here. Okay. As I've been trying to say, like, the last minute or two, is I don't, I'm not seeing any super beneficial drops from these quartz heads or marble heads, in, uh, I think that I named them. Um, so I think I'm going to either just attempt to torch them off or just destroy them. I think that's the best course of action um, at the moment. Um, okay, we're going to have to do some bridging between these. I think I'm going to go about um, kind of clearing up the outer, outer area first. Um, and then we'll go in towards the inner area. That way we kind of have um, some like, a, like a sense of safety. Um, 
um, a sense of safety around the outside. Um, and we don't have to worry too much. Let's get back. Let's pop one of these bad boys. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Um, let me kill this guy. See what they've dropped so far. Lots of power. Okay, they're they're all wielding power. One bows, uh, marble sword. Ooh, sharpness two, fire aspect one, looting one. That's actually pretty good. I could probably use that to combine with my sword, or combine with a sword. That's good. We're gonna keep that. I think. Yeah, let's keep that. Keep that, and uh, we can come anvil it. Um, we get the chance. Now, I know I've. Uh... Oh shit! Um, I asked people to make a bet on what level I was gonna be before the enchanting table, but between deaths and uh, us just wanting to anvil stuff, that number number is gonna be very uh, a very random number. So there's there's marble knights and there's marble archers. I think I think that's the uh, the gist of what I'm seeing. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh no 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 no. They're not following us, right? No, good. Oh, they have thorns. That's right. Damn it. You have thorns too. Why? Is it a high level of thorns? It doesn't appear to be. It's probably like thorns one or two. I'm guessing thorns one. Um, from what I understand, um, the way that thorns work is this a percent chance of procking whenever you take damage. Um, and it's 15% per level. So at level one, uh, it's a 15% chance that will proc and do X amount of damage. Uh, you know, level two, thirty percent. Level three, forty-five percent. Um, which typically is the max you can get off enchanting normally. Um, you can find items. Um, map ma map maker made items that ha that go higher than that, but um, generic items or vanilla item or vanilla enchanting, you're not going to get higher than that. Nope. Oh. Mm. So, an in interesting area so far. Nothing too dastardly, nothing too terrible. Um, just a lot of these, just a lot of spawns in general. Um, from what I can tell, there's just, just kind of a lot of spawns. Get out of here, little guy. You too. You too. You too. Um, one nice thing about this item is it's an uh, it's not a weapon or a tool. It's got no durability, and I don't have to worry about breaking it. So it really, I think it makes it one of the one of the ultimate items, kind of that I've seen. Um, it does more damage than a diamond sword. It, you know, you can't be knocked back by skeletons. You know, the movement speed reduction is fairly insignificant. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, in comparison to, um, you know, if we didn't have it, we'd be getting knocked back. And um, I think that's it's kind of the. It's, it's, I, I find it to be, to be typically better. I mean, not being able to get knocked back, especially in a world of skeletons and creepers and such, such like that. Now, the only thing I wish is it didn't have knockback on it, uh, but I'm sure that's there as a a counter counterbalance measure. Um, 
which you know completely makes sense. It's un just I kind of wish it didn't. Oh, hmm. Ooh. Ooh, half our oh don't nothing don't nothing come at me I'm armed I'm dangerous leave me alone um let's take out this guy before he sees us okay good um we're regening nicely we've got a lot of power bows which we can oh and our gear is taking a shit stopping holy hell um, we might have to we'll put this on for now. We might have to head back and repair and get rid of some of this crap. Let's go a touch longer. Um, I'd like to try getting well, most of this torched up. I know I'm not going to get all of it torched up most likely, but I'd like to get a large chunk of it torched up. Or a large chunk more. Man, those skeletons beat the shit out of our armor. Is that guy just wandering around as you're coming towards us? So he's doing a really jank job at it. Whatever. Oh, I didn't miss that. Uh, okay. Alright, let's get some more torches down. You need to stop, please. Yes, that's right, you. You with the bow. I need you to stop being a dick. Nope. No! No! I had it all for one episode. <laughs> Damn it. I'm terrible with having item like nice items. Freaking one episode. What the hell is this shit? Oh god, Emblem's gonna laugh his ass off at me. I'm gonna tell him after or finish recording if he's still awake and he's gonna laugh. And I'm gonna tell Proxy. She's gonna shake her head and go, oh rock. God that item was so good. This is why I can't have nice things. The absolute reason why. Because I lose them. Or break them. Or die with them. This is not a new thing. For anyone, uh, uh, some people, most of you people, or some of you people, people have been around with the channel for a little bit. And you've probably seen Inferno Mines or one of my other series. And you know to that I like to lose stuff. Not because I'm doing it on purpose, because I don't tend to do it on purpose. I just fail a lot. Like that right there. Accidentally placed the door, and then it got blown up. Which, it went, the, the blowing up part didn't really matter. But it's a nice addition to add to the story. So I placed my door that was enchanted with really good stats, and then it, blew, it got blown up. GG. Damn it. I wish there was a way, um, some type of stat or MBT value that you could put on an item that allowed you to not be able to um, place it. Maybe. You know, it could be used for blocks, it could be used for items, you know, battle signs and stuff, or just other items. That you can't have them. They can't be placed by uh, by right clicking. That would be awesome. But that's not going to happen, unfortunately. It would be awesome, but it's not going to. Jesus! Uh... Let me back up. This sneaky guy. Coming out of nowhere with this child. 
Who brings a child to the battlefield? What kind of ir irresponsible parent are you? Oh god, there's a ton of XP down there. I'm actually excited for that. Hmm. What kind of ir irresponsible parent brings their child to war? Oh god, I didn't even know what was on this, uh, this sword again. Could have been like something absolute trash for all I can, for all I know. Um, sharp three, smite one. Okay, not terrible. I've had better. You know, like that door we had. I hear that was pretty good. Oh, oh wow! Oh, that's right. My gear is probably broken by now. Get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. My gear's broken, is it? Oh, yeah, it's hella broken. Okay, um. Oh, shit. No! Please don't. I'm just gonna cry a box right, right here. Whew. All right, so I'm going to cry a box right here, um, and then I'm going to move my way back to the intersection real quick off camera to deposit and anvil a ton of these. And then we'll continue on with the area, assuming the time is, is fine, which I, sh I, I think it is. So we'll be right back. All right, so we are back. Um, we did some, we got new gear. Um, we made ourselves a new, brand new bow, we titled the Boom Headshot. We did, did a ton of combining of um, those level 1 power bows that we found, um, and just worked and upgraded them into a uh, power 4 bow. We also upgraded our marble sword with our old sword, giving us a nice sharp 3 sword, which is glorious. So, we're slowly... Slowly building ourselves up to probably fall, but slowly building ourselves up for something, um, something nice. Um, that we, ah, oh yeah, hope we don't, um, so yeah. So, one thing to note with this that I've heard from Amlook is that he remade this area in one night. Like, this is one of the areas he remade prior like the night before launch of the uh, open open beta which is really amazing given you know the scope of how big this area is and just all the little little things that are with it oh my god this bow oh get some spiders creeper too nope not quite these spiders though yeah take it fat ass oh he didn't die Cute, cute. Oof. But yeah, given the scope of how big this area looks um, versus how much time he did it in, is pretty damn amazing, if you do ask me. Um. Okay, I think. Oh, oh creeper. You scared the bejesus out of me. Oh, including whiffed. Okay. Um, lots of stuff. Oh, out of arrows. Even better. Fantastic. Okay, let's get up here. Make sure we have this area pretty well lit. That way we don't have to deal with any bad things um, later on. Um, okay. So guys. Um, so we got this globe here. We got a lot of... Oh god, this is going to be intense. Um, we got... 
these spawners here. Oh, we got more spawners down there too. It kind of looks burnt red, orange, so it looks like a blazy, a blazy blaze spawner. So we got these platforms. We can go traverse our way up to there. We also have the pathway that kind of goes over this way, which I assume we're gonna have to traverse our way upwards, anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're gonna have to go up towards that glow, that planet. I think that planet is the um, is the key factor in this area that's gonna lead us to the the wool box, or is the wool box was the wool box. I was really hoping. No, I was hoping for some type of awesome jump pad. But at last, no luck. Um, okay, there's the wool box. And wow, there's gas spawners spinning already. Jesus. They have... Okay, they have a wide... Wide range. Oh, this is gonna be the death of me. Oh, Jesus. Oh no 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 no. Um, this is either gonna turn out terrible or not too bad. I'm aiming for more so towards terrible. Most. Oh! <gasps> Hey, Blaze! Jesus Christ! Woo! Oh! Oh, I should have died there! Right there! That should have been my death. Oh. oh! See, guys, I'm getting better at Ender Pearls. Oh, God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, I thought that was lava. Um, get an energy drink going. Let's try to get ourselves up and out of here. Um, back into safety. Safety of the area. I think we're going to have to go this direction. Maybe. Hello. Hello. There we go. Wow. Wow. A few. I will not lie. I got hella lucky there, that I managed to enter pearl in time. I've. Uh, I think I'd like to think that I'm getting better at this game, and that I'm getting better at things like ender pearls and such. Eh. Perfect. Like the, I'd like to think that. And that right there, my good friends, was a testament to my getting better. Ah, uh, I have no arrows. Shit. My getting better at Ender Pearls. Because if you compare this to some of my older shit, I failed, failed miserably at it. Traditionally. I see you there, guy. I wish I could shoot you. Okay, yep, yeah, you can hit me. Is that a bow? That's an arrow? Perfect. Eh. Damn it. Okay, I think this is the course of action. This is how we're going to do this business. No! Okay. Yep. Yep. 
just like that. Just like that. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. This is going to work beautifully. Beautifully, be beautiful. Except when that guy, that guy spawns. No, 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 no. Is he shooting? Oh, he's got friends. He's got friends. Her, her, her. her. Let's get a woo in here. Woo. Let's also do our damn just get out of here. Oh, they let me. Okay, we got an ender pearl. I think this ender pearl is going to be the money. I think this is what we're going to have to do. Um. Hmm. No 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 Leave me be don't shoot me up you cut bags Aha bitch get some Uh oh Get up get up get up away from the gas away from the gas go 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 Yeah, we got the light gray wool. Perfect. 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 Let's get our uh, ass out of here. Now, we will come back here off camera, probably, I'm thinking, to grab that chest down there. Uh, there's some type of name chest there. Oh. Let me get back to space. And, um,. See how long our time's gone so far. If it's not super long, we might. I think we might do it on camera. Um, if if it has been going for a while, we'll probably do, we'll do it off camera. Um, but let's get over to the base real quick, and uh, this stuff we want to grab for our base. Those glass. That glass will come in handy for glass bottles. Um, and then the rest of it just blocks and good good stuff that we could use. Um, so let me sort the stuff out real quick and check the time and I'll be right back. Alright, so uh, we have a, bit, a little bit of time left. And I think we will take advantage of that time to try to get to that name chest over there. Which what I think we're going to do is we will just... Try our damnedest to get a nice little bridge um, over there to make things a bunch easier. Um, not too big. This oh, this will probably do for our width. Oh, oh, that could have been the death of me, and I would have cried. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get, let's repair up this bad boy, right? Oh, hey, marble guy. Yeah, you can get the hell out of here. You're not welcome. Wow, these guys spawn hella fast. Oh, uh, let me back up. Oh, 
Wow. Wow, these guys spawn pretty damn fast. Sharp is too sharp. Oh, that's right. We could probably combine, do some repairs and combine these to um, get better, better, um, higher level sharpnesses. So we can probably combine these two and then combine this one to get a nice sharp four sword. I think that would be pretty solid. Oh, God, we got to get over there and take out that damn spawner. Where, Where is that bad boy? Okay, right there and right there. There's two spawners from what I could see. We have no arrows either. Um, I don't remember... I've got to think about this. I don't remember if there's arrows in the previous intersections. I want to say no. Um... I want to say that I don't think there is. Um, I'm going to kill myself off of myself. Um, oh, don't want to don't throw that out. Give me this. Get out of here. Um, shit. Let's keep running away from the skeleton. Um, that's right. Those guys are skeletons, so they will be dropping um arrows. Ooh, that could come in handy. Now, I'm hoping to find some good arrow caches in the map. Now, I know I could farm the arrows uh, off of mobs. But, honestly, I would rather not. I would I would prefer to do as little farming as necessary. Um, I'm not one of those types of people that enjoys doing... Ooh, hey, boys. Enjoys doing farms. Ooh, it's a lightness. We'll grab you. Mad hops. Jump boost 10, speed 3. Ooh. Now without fall damage. Oh, that's right. Jump boost doesn't give fall damage now. Ah! Interesting. 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 Is there any more? Might be a chest over there. I'm not too keen on going over there to grab it. Oh, that's a lot of blazes over there. No, I think I'm done with this area. I'm content. I've uh, I've got the, the two chests that I was initially planning to get. Um, and now, I'm sure that the... I thought I saw a chest over there, and if I did, I'm sure it does have something really good in it. But I'm, uh, I'm quite content with not, uh, not exploring the... Uh, not exploring that, because, you know, if it's there, it must be explored. And the mobs say the same thing of, uh, say, say the same thing of your, of your ass. It's there, therefore it must be explored. Oh, that's a damn high repair cost. Damn high repair cost. Um, but let me sort some stuff out real quick, and I will catch you guys over at the monument so we can deposit the light gray wool. So be right back. All right, we are at the body of bitch with the light gray wolf. Light gray wolf. Plopping that bad boy down. Bam! Light gray wool get. Mm. This is good. That was... This, we're in intersection three. There's got to be... Let's see. There's one, two, three. Probably four. Okay, my guess is there's going to be four intersections in this map. Yeah, that's my guess. But with that, we're going to call it... 
we're going to call it an end of an episode for today. So if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the episode, do feel free to leave a like. It always helps. As always, this is Rock, and I'll catch you guys next time.